possibility. In this part, we talk about outdoor accessibility. Outdoor accessibility refers to architectural aspects outside a building. In the following section, we focus on the requirements for accessible public transport, accessible parking spaces, and navigation outside a building. Questions addressed by outdoor venue accessibility are, where is the venue located? Is it in the city center or in a rural area? How far is the venue away from the railway station? Where is the nearest bus stop? Public transport is a popular means to get around, also for disabled people. Therefore, your venue should be easily reachable by public transport. It is a good idea to do some research and include information about public transport stations near your venue in your communication. You might even have the opportunity to ask your local authority to put in a new bus stop nearby. If people arrive with, your, with their own vehicles, the accessible parking space should be reserved for people with disability. However, the available space reserved for disabled parking usually should not exceed a certain total number of parking spaces. In addition, people who use this parking space need to meet certain requirements. In Belgium, for example, they are reserved for people who have a so-called blue card. The colors and the signs can differ between countries. In Belgium, Accessible parking spaces are only designated in blue and white. In rare cases, yellow is also used for signs and lining. These spaces must be located on the shortest accessible route of travel to the entrance. Where accessible reserved, parking spaces should be provided within 25 to 50 meters of a point of entry. The designated parking space needs to have a dimensions that allow a wheelchair user to get easily in and out of the car. A disabled parking space must be clearly signposted. Usually, they are marked out on the ground and the international symbol of access sign is used. However, not every venue has designated car parking spaces. In this case, you can establish a so-called kiss and ride or drop-off areas. In general, you can always use public accessible parking spaces that are available nearby and list them in your communication. To sum up, it is a good idea to provide information on public transport near your venue and information on the way from the public transport station to your event location. If you have parking spaces on your area, make sure that they are clearly marked with an international symbol of access sign and allow for enough space to get in and out of the car. In the next video, you will learn about the FFZ principle for navigation outside a building.